what is happening welcome back to the past alive thank you all for joining me tonight as i rip into the august edition of the old school jam pack baseball card mystery box available at jampacks.net when in stock they're sold out right now they should be putting the september edition up in the next several days possibly even a week but they do have other items available as of now when these are in stock they are 65 dollars 99 delivered directly to your door and they feature 20 older baseball card packs. You see 86 Fleer on top and a guaranteed Hall of Famer autograph inside of the Gold Jam Pack along with a Hall of Famer rookie card. So save that for a little later on. Every box also has a team bag of singles. You have stars in here. You have Hall of Famers, maybe even some rookies. 86 Fleer, Ozzie Smith on top. We'll check that out in a second. We have a pack of complimentary top loaders from Cardboard Gold in CSP. Um, premium card sleeves. I love CSP stuff actually a lot, so that's pretty cool to see those. Put those off to the side and save those for the incoming hits and see what we have on the agenda for August. And so the featured pack, like I pointed out, already 86 Fleer. You see some other late 80s packs that are going to be thrown in here. And you have a key of all of the rookie cards that you're going to be chasing after in this month's edition. So check those out if you need to refer to uh, what you're chasing after. And also check them out on social media, on Instagram and also on Facebook. Let's get down to it. Like I said, we'll save the gold jam pack for later. We'll check out the singles first. The Greg Maddox on the back side here, the team bag. Aussie Smith 86 Fleer starting things off. And a 92 impact player insert of Will Clark. These are pretty big sets. I believe that these were like exclusive to blister packs or jumbos or something along those lines but i remember being pretty stoked on uh, these back in the early 90s 82 tops paul molitor it's a nice one 95 bowman's best so so we have a tony Gwynn 85 tops all-star eckersley 90 leaf steve garvey 82 donruss here's a cool one 94 fleer diamond tribute to roger clemens floating through the clouds Trammel 85 Leaf. We have a Mark Grace Dream Team from Kmart. Late 80s. 84 Tops. All-Star Gary Carter. Looking super down in the dumps on that photo. And an 85 or 95 Flair. Greg Maddox to end the stack of singles. Let's get down to the packs. Check out what we got here. 86 Fleer, 89 Donruss, 90 Bowman. There's 91 Tops. Looking for that Mark Witten. 87 tops, 89 tops, 89 Fleer could be a possible error pack. 90 score, looking for that Bo Jackson. I've been pulling a lot lately. 92 Donruss, looking for Elites. 93 Donruss, Series 2, looking for the Will Clark Elite Autograph. There's 91 Leaf, Series 2. 91 per deck, looking for the Nolan Ryan Autograph and or Jordan Short Print. Ted Williams Autograph, possibility 92 per deck. We have 92 Pinnacle Series 2, looking for a Mini or Mirrors rookie card, I believe he's in Series 2, either him or Jeff Kent. 91 Studio, we got 90 Top Cello Pack, we all love that. 88 Tops, 89 Bowman, 88 Don Russ, Corey Snyder on top of that pack, and 92 Tops. Let's push these aside a little bit and get to ripping. See what kind of rookies we can pull for this month. Another Ozzie Smith showing up. Rod Carew is the puzzle of this year. Kevin McReynolds. There's Matt Williams with some sort of crazy blemish through his face on that card that I'm kind of obsessed with. Mike Scott, and Ian Slyke. There's Ben McDonald with a flat top. Atley Hamaker. There's a Larkin. Roger McDowell. <laughs> crazy Roger McDowell. Dave Steeb, Juan Samuel, and there is Ozzie Smith, the wizard. Carew, the puzzle that year. Let's you know, you no. Know, Rhyme or reason, let's do 89 Fleer next since it's on top. Let's see if we have an error pack here. Possibly find a corrected Billy Ripken or censored Ripken. Blue Jay sticker starts it off. <clears throat> We've an insert card come up in here. Hippolito Pena. That card was kind of creeped me out. Darwin, there's a Wally Joyner. Fred McGriff, Todd Burns, Boomer Wells, there's a Drabeck. Denny Glad and that scraggly little mullet. Unfortunately, not flapping in the wind on that photo. Will Clark insert. Very nice. 12 card insert set. Brian Fisher, I remember being real stoked on that card and on him as a kid. And Lee Smith ends that pack. 89 tops will be next. So we can find a Smoltz rookie in here. Or a Johnson rookie card. It's a Hershiser record breaker. The sweet throwback threads of tops. Second year Els Burks. Dennis Lamp. Jody Davis. 
There's Ernie Riles. There's a Hurt Scheiser. Quintana. Greg Swindell, of course, shows up. Carter again. Craig Reynolds and Don August ends that pack. I guess we'll do 92 Pinnacle next. Still like opening 92 Pinnacle. Like I said, there was like a treat to open these as a young lad. Because <laughs> they were so much nicer than everything else that was out at the time. Banks. We have David Cohn and Jackie Gleason idols. Shades is going to be Tim Rock Reigns, David Justice. It's a cool one. I remember being real stoked on him <laughs> as a kid back then, as an eight year old kid. A little bit of stickiness here, but I don't see any paper loss. There's Alvin Davis, Ryan Bowen, Dennis Cook, of course, shows up looking not as homicidal in the back of that card. Steve Howe. Hensley Mullins. Vicente Palacios for Paul L. I know he'll be pumped to see that. Dickie Thon and Mitch Williams is the wild thing. Ends that pack. 92 per deck is next. So we can find one of these short prints in here, if not the Ted Williams autograph. Henderson and Canseco. Scott Radinsky. And his mullet actually is flapping in the wind on that one. It's pretty awesome. Eric Hansen. Greg Hibbard. We got a second year Luis Gonzalez, Roberto, and Sandy Alomar. Manuel Lee. Andy Van Slyke, and Dave Gallagher. Gerald Clark, Lee Smith. Mike Henneman, and Bruce Hurst. Looking like he's up to no good on that one. Any Don Rossello pack will be next. Like I said, we got Corey Snyder on top. Let's see if we can find a, uh, a Glavin rookie in here, or maybe Roberto Alomar. Tom, or. Jay Buhner, even in here. Eckersley. Kevin Elster, rookie, would have been a hot one back then. There's Tim Raines again. Mel Hall, minus the poop stain. A couple puzzle pieces here. Mutual. That's pretty cool, though. Tim Raines, seen a lot of him in here. Checklists. We got a Greg. Or actually, I thought it was Greg Max for a second. Scott Sanderson, Al Newman. And look at that. The Tom Glavin rookie card shows up. I don't know what else I pulled that. Pretty freaking awesome. First nice rookie hit comes out. Doug Zisk. It's a sweaty freaking mess. Ruben Sierra, second year card. With checklist, Eddie Williams, Ray Rookie, Stan Musial. Alvin Davis, Geronimo Barroa. I'm looking for offensive signage and or unibrows, and I found one on Damon Berryhill. Pretty impressive stuff there. Jay Bell rookie card was the one I was after back then, even though he was in his Indian attire. Will Clark MVP, second year. Greg Jeffries, rookie card, would have been, stole everyone's hearts back then. Mark Langston and Tim Laudner ends that pack. I guess we'll do 89 Bowman next. So Glavin, rookie card, comes out. Let's see if we can keep the good rookie mojo going in 89 Bowman. we got a reprint of Mays Bowman rookie in here. Frank Viola sorts it off. Gary Reedus. There's Lonnie Smith, Raphael Santana, Rick Russell. Looking extra creepy in that photo. Definitely the driver of the windowless white van. Al Newman, there is the reprint. Who is that? Dennis Rasmussen. There's a Rob Dibble rookie card. Jim Deshays, Luis Rivera. Pascal Perez and Mark Grace is going to end that pack. 88 tops. We'll do this one next. Come as cemented on there. I'm not even going to try. Let's see if we can find any errors in here. Frank Tanana. Nelson Liriano. Jerry Reed. Rocky Childress. George Brett took the gum, unfortunately. Here's the Propaganda Peace advertising Jack Clark and the Glossy All Stars set. Hojo, Williams, Santana, and Balboni. No rookies to be found in there. 91 for deck is next. So we find this Jordan short prints in just one pack. Got Todd Van Poppel rookie card. Would have been the hot one back then. Sedeno, Jeff Montgomery. This card always creeped me the hell out. That face does not look realistic. And there's a freaking unibrow to boot. That is absolutely terrifying. I don't care how old you are. I don't want to sleep with the lights off after seeing that card. Tim Burke, we have a Yankees hologram sticker. Eric Yelding. Tom Brookins, McRae. Jay Howe, Sweet Lou Whitaker is Walt Terrell. 
Mike Moore and Shackless Cards that pack. Another 91 pack, a Series 2, looking for the Gold Leaf Rookies. That crazy Mike Mussina air. We got one in here? We got one. We got one. Killer Brew is a puzzle that year. Trammel. It's hard to do this without giving it away, so we're going to give it away. And look at that. We got a Jeff Bagwell. That's pretty sick. It's considered Jeff Bagwell rookie year. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Usually it's Willie Banks or somebody else. Unfortunately, bagpipes got muffed up there in that corner, so that kind of sucks. But uh, still, it's another good hit. Kevin Bass, minus the red pants. Buddy Bonilla, definitely about to cry. That was a good time in that photo. Mark Lee, downing. Sosa second year card. Tim Tuffle. In Cavillia, Ernest Rouse again, and Trammell and Devon White. Let's see if we can pull the Will Clark autograph out of here. Series two packs. Jeff Treadway. Do we have an elite? Does not look like it. Just to buy a bunch of these. There's Bob Bonilla again. Estevan Beltre. I've never seen his name abbreviated like that. Este Beltre. Interesting. Holy Whitehurst is having the time of his life. There's Bagwell again with some sort of strange green orb on his neck that I'm obsessed with. Putting that in the Oddities collection. Don Slot and Jeff Treadway in that pack. Another Donruss pack. 92. This is Series 1. Show me the elites. I don't see one. Carew the puzzle that year. Saberhagen starts it off. I remember loving these when they came out. Gibson, Otis Nixon. Still remember when these came out like it was freaking yesterday. Paul O'Neill, Alvin Davis, and there is Rod Carew. We'll do 90 score next. Let's see if we can find a Frank Thomas rookie in here. Maybe that bow nose again. Doesn't look like a Doc Gooden. Dave Winfield, the Ninja Star trivia question. Boggs, Mackie Sasser, creepy antics of Ron Robinson. And there's a Smoltz second-year card. Cangelosi, Bennis, Orton, and Scott Hemond ends that freaking pack. 92 tops will be next. We're buying these in Ames back in the 90s for like 59 cents a pack or something like that. There is the match of stats. You can cheat on the flashlights. And look at that. We got a Griffey. If I can hang on to it here. One of the best cards in the set. I like that photo too. Very cool. Tongo Sword of Manager card, Tom Candy Audi. 92 Tops. I loved them when they came out. Nowadays, not a big fan of 92 Tops. It's a very, very boring set. Interesting design, but there's not a whole lot in 92 Tops. They had no, really, there's no inserts. There's no gold cards. I mean, they had the gold winners, but we'll do 91 Tops next. The big rookie in 92 Tops is Manny Ramirez. He also had Cliff Floyd in there, but that was it. Not a whole lot you could really pull out of there. Let's look for some errors. There weren't really any good errors in 92 Tops either. Phil Plantier rookie card with a hot one back then. Bob Welch, Billy Doran, Yvonne Calderon. And I missed something there. Berto Alomar, Donny Baseball. Mark Gubazon, Steve Frey ends that pack. And we'll save 86 Fleer for last. 90 Bowman is next. Before we find out who the autograph is, last month was Dave Winfield. And the rookie was Jeff Bagwell. Let's see if we can find. Bo Jackson portrait, Jose Aquendo. Never really cared for him. Cecil Fielder. There's Ken Griffey Sr. And look at that. We got an all rude rookie card now. That's one I don't pull very often. Definitely a good one. Often overshadowed, I feel like, but not a high dollar card by any means. 50 cents, maybe. But uh, Vaughn Hayes, of course. Cringe the sight of him. Wade Boggs, Fernandez, and there's Alvin Davis again. Yeah, let's do 89 Donruss next. See if we can find a Griffey in here. Lots of rookies to find in 89 Donruss. Is that part of the pack wrapper? Is that part of the card? Jeez, that got destroyed. Warren Spawn, the puzzle that year is a sadistic looking Darren Dalton. See if we can find Ed Woods, Ed Woodson, who is an omen. Matt Williams, second year. There's a short print in here of David Parker. Good old Dave Parker turning around for some reason. Scott Terry, Carlos Quintana, rated rookie, and a very beat up Mike Stanley. And he's pissed about it too. Weird Dave Parker positioning. 
So we got three packs left. 90 top cello pack. These boxes are they're not cheap. I feel like you can't really get one for less than like 70 bucks these days. The 90 tops craze of America. Chris Gwynn, you know what we're looking for in here. I don't think I even have to mention it. Jim Rice, Fred McGriff. With Bob Walk, Eric Anthony, future star card. Smith, all star. Propaganda piece of Topps Magazine, the debut. And the search will continue on on the first of this month. Fred McGriff again, Otis Nixon, Steve Finley, second year, and there's a Cal Ripken to end that pack. 87 top, second to last pack. Crisp wrapper. Let's see if we find some rookies in here. Plenty, and look at that. Bo Jackson rookie card is going to come out. Check that out. Imagine pulling that back in 1987. Freaking sweet. Iconic Bo Jackson, Future Stars rookie. Love it. So not doing too bad uh, on these packs. Rick Manning. Propaganda spring training piece. And we got Ruben Sierra rookie card too. A little bit of a miscut on it, but uh, check that out. Doug Sisk again looking creepy as ever. And Randy O'Neill. We still got 86 Fleer left. Got four rookies. Got a Bagwell first year insert. 86 Fleer. These boxes. Last I looked, they were around 100 bucks. I don't know what they're at now, but uh, obviously Conseco rookie is a big one in here. Galarraga rookie. Cecil Fielder. Cubs sticker starts it off, and I've never, ever seen. And look at that Paul O'Neill. I was just about to say Paul O'Neill rookie. And here he freaking is. And an insert card I've never seen before. Future Hall of Famer Steve Carlton. I've never seen this set. I've opened a couple boxes of 86 Fleer in my time, and I don't know, a bunch of packs, and I've never seen this set before. Very, very freaking cool. Put that as a hit. And look at that. Paul O'Neill rookie card with Cal Daniels. I'm getting some pretty good luck tonight. Rance Mullinix. Fernando Valenzuela. Let's see what else we can find. In the last few cards. R.J. Reynolds. Mer getting his autograph on a ball back at Pirate Fest. And Mike Schmidt. Ends all those packs. So check it out. Pretty good haul from... Just 20 packs there. And we still have this to fall back on. The guaranteed rookie of a Hall of Famer and the guaranteed autograph. All right. This is definitely going to be our rookie. That's thicker. It's going to be the autograph. I did not look at them. I can kind of see through this paper a little bit, though. But it's going to be an older Donruss card or a Leaf 1988. It's going to be a Roberto Alomar. This is from the Baseball's Best Set from 1988. Check that out. The set that I feel like a lot of people don't really know about. They made these in 88, 89. Um, I think that was the only two years. But Roberto Almar. That says rookie year. And that might be one for that you need for the rookie box. If you don't have it already. So that's pretty sick. Almar, a Hall of Famer, obviously. But let's see what we got for the autograph here. 2011 tops. Who's it going to be? I see Giants on there. And look at that. Monty Irvin. That's pretty crazy. I would not have expected that at all. Monty Irvin. The 52 Tops reprint certified autograph issue. On card autograph in blue ink. That's pretty sick. I like that one a lot. It's not numbered, but uh, a good looking card for the auto collection. I'll put it in. Very, very nice. So there's the... Uh, there you have it. That's the... The August Old School Jam Packs Hall definitely uh, did pretty well this month, I'd say. Please drop me a comment uh, down below and let me know uh, what your favorite pool was. If you enjoyed the video, if you plan on getting a box, I'd love to hear from you guys. Check out jampacks.net. Grab yourself a box. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you back tomorrow night.